What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys whether the E90 is safe uh, when it comes to like, you know, pushing the push stop while you're driving. This is something that a lot of people, you know, don't know about. There is this video that's blown up on YouTube showing that, you know, your car won't turn off if it's above 10 miles per hour, but that car is 2011. BMW had their push starts back, you know, in 2002, 2003. So we want to see in this 2006, Will the car turn off at like 10, 15 miles per hour or only when it's five miles per hour or less? So again, guys, we are doing this as the car is driving. We just, uh, this isn't something I recommend you guys should do. I'm just doing it for the safety of others. I'm trying to understand, you know, will the car stop on you? It's okay, it's okay. We'll cut this, yeah, continue. We just want to know if it's safe, you know, to do this kind of stuff. For me, I'm a YouTuber. I want to try new things, so I'm going to try it, but uh, don't do this at home. It's just, you know, just having a peace of mind if someone actually click pushes a push stop while you're driving will the car turn off or not on you all right guys so we're in the car now i'm going to be trying to drive the car at 25 miles per hour i'm going to start at the highest and actually i'm going to try it at 20 miles per hour because that's as fast as i can go down the street and click the push start to see if anything will happen will the car stop will i have control of the steering what would happen exactly when i just turn off the car at 20 miles per hour all right guys so we are now at 20 miles per hour i'm going to click the push start and nothing nothing happened around 20 miles per hour which is a good thing <laughs> you know if someone accidentally pushes a push stop when you're on the highway your car isn't turning off on you we're gonna go down this road right here now and we're gonna try it at 15 miles per hour and see if the car turns off what would happen exactly let me slow down a little bit actually get it down 15 15 All right, so at 15 miles per hour, let me try one more time. It will not turn off either, which is a good thing. And now we're gonna try 10 miles per hour. I have a feeling it will turn off at 10 miles per hour just because it's not that fast, but uh, I mean, you never know. I mean, BMW could be extra safe and only at five miles per hour or less, which is perfect, but uh, we'll, we'll test out 10 right now. And by the way, this is not usually how I have my steering wheel. I have it this low because of the GoPro, I'm trying to get it to catch the, you know, the speed. All right, so we're at 15, I'm dropping it down to 10. This is 10. All right, so 10, we're still good. Wow, that's just kind of crazy, I don't know. Most cars around like 10, 15, it will just turn off. I even saw like the Corvette, it turned off at like, uh, how fast was that? Pretty sure the Corvette turned off at like 25 miles per hour. That was kind of crazy. Well, BMW actually thought this through, that's good. And they, just to keep in mind, guys, this is a 2006. This isn't a 2015 and stuff like that, and they thought of all the safety stuff. I mean, of course, they thought of safety in 2006, but they really thought above and beyond. I'm going to go down this road and try five miles per hour. I want to have, like, an open road just in case it turns off. And if it doesn't, you know, good for me. That's good. Damn, I never realized how slow five miles per hour is. <laughs> I'm still at 10. All right, guys, we're at eight, nine. Wow, I can't believe how slow five miles per hour is. Damn, that is stupid slow. Okay, I actually have a feeling it will turn off at five. Five is actually stupid slow. Come on, I'm literally tapping. The, the engine literally drives on its own above five. There we go. Over the speed bump, we're down to five. Yep, car turns off. Power steering's off. Brakes still work, though, so that's good, but it's stupid heavy. And the car is still left in drive, so I gotta put it back in the park before I can turn it back on. But yeah, at five, the car just turns off and everything literally just turns off. I thought I just got a bad light. <laughs> no, we're good, that's just my, my, my headlight. So yeah, guys, your car is pretty much safe. If you're driving, there's no way that thing's gonna turn off. I mean, your car operates on its own with its own power above five miles per hour, so the, the, you know, the odds of it turning off on its own um, when someone clicks it is you know, it's not gonna happen So if you guys did enjoy this short video smash that like button and let me know down in the comments below If you guys want me to try this on a different type of BMW if your BMW does this, you know um, I, I don't know about the 7 series because the 7 series they have push start I think in 2003 I'm not sure if you guys have one of those let me know um, if BMW still thought this through All right guys if you guys don't mind smash that like button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out She got me saying yalla baby I need you to see me Quit with the front and then put your guard down Girl, we know you ain't easy She got me saying, y'all love, baby I need you to see me
quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. You 